Oh my goodness, look at that. We're gonna start with our French bread Pillsbury dough. Lay it out and roll it. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our butter, basil paste, garlic paste, and we're gonna mix this all together to make this little paste. So now that we have our paste all made up, we're gonna go ahead and get, get a brush and we're gonna start brushing it all over. So make sure to use a brush during this part because it just allows it to get all over so much easier. I mean, you could definitely use a spatula, but it does not work as well, but that's fine. You can do that. I mean, you can even use your hands. I'm making sure to use everything just as you should. Perfect. Now that that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and get some shredded mozzarella cheese. So go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start spreading it out. And we want a nice, even amount of cheese, guys, okay? So there we go. It's looking good. And now what I like to add for some spice is some red chili flakes. So this is completely optional. I like to add this though, because today I'm doing my well-known pull apart cheesy garlic bread, but we're gonna add a little pizza twist onto it. So we're gonna kind of cut into smaller bits and it'll have the same flavor, if not more. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some pepperoni. Who does not love pepperoni, right? So go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and start putting it on all over, just like this. We wanna go ahead and cover this thing. There we go. Perfect. Amazing. So as you can see, I have my four rows and this is kind of a guideline of how I'm gonna be cutting as well. So we're gonna do four rows. We're gonna get a pizza cutter and we're gonna go down it just like this. Perfect. We're gonna go down this way. Perfect. And we're gonna do one more row. There we go. Perfect. So now that we have four rows, we're gonna go ahead and make four little cuts as well. So we're gonna go ahead and if you want, you can go right down the middle if that's what you prefer. So we'll start there, that, that way you can kind of know it's perfectly even. And we're gonna be cutting down that pepperoni as you can see, which is totally fine. Go ahead, stick those bad boys right back there. And that's kind of our guideline. So we're gonna go ahead and keep on cutting. We want four little bits just like that. And we're gonna go this way as well. Perfect. So as you can see, it's nice and cut up. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some little bits, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy. Cut. Rolling, action. So now that we have cut these into fourths, now we're gonna go ahead and cut down those little guys as well. Perfect. And because we're doing this, we're gonna come out with about eight tiny little pieces. If the pepperoni's going everywhere, that is okay. It's bound to happen. Perfect. So now we're gonna start stacking. So get, get two hands, just like this. There we go. And we're gonna stack four at a time, okay? So look at that. It's nice and thick. And we're gonna go ahead and sit this to the side and we're gonna keep on stacking just like this. Perfect. Oh my goodness, guys, this looks so good. So, so good. And remember, make sure to use two hands because we really don't want a ton of cheese coming out. So that's the reason why you know, I always suggest let's use two hands here. And get our muffin tin. Perfect. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and spray it, of course. So you wanna spray all these. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put these guys right in. Perfect. 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 Just 
squeeze them in there just like that and then if you're wondering what am i going to do with our little extra pieces we're going to go ahead and use them still so go ahead you can just take each layer off one by one there we go and you just stack it until we have run out okay so there we go there we go now that's what's fun with these things guys you can just keep on stacking it like it's nobody's business and they're going to be amazing so keep that in mind you can keep on stacking wherever it fits and now we're going to get our excess cheese i want to throw a little bit on each one of these so as you can see nothing gets left behind here there we go get all that cheese up and just throw it in there if it falls into the crevice that is a-okay perfect so we're going to throw these into the oven now Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw this right into our oven. We're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay guys, these are all ready to go. Look at how crazy these look. As you can see, I put a pan underneath to catch the butter. All right, let's plate them. So these little pull-aparts are all ready to go. We're gonna top them with some Parmesan cheese. And now I want you guys to see exactly you know what it looks like with these layers oh my goodness look at that